Today I'm going to show you how to add our business rules component called WebRule to an ASP.NET web form. First, we need to check if WebRules assembly is referenced in the projects. To do that, open the References folder and look for the CodeEffects.Rule reference. You can download the assembly from rule.codeeffects.com if it's not there or if it's broken. Next, we need to tell WebRule which class we are going to use as our source object. The source object is the class that represents your data that will be evaluated against your business rules. Sometimes it's also called a fax object or just fax. Again, the link to the detailed documentation on source objects is in the description of this video. In this demo project, we use a class called patient, which declares a number of public properties and methods. Unless you tell it not to, WebRule can use most of these properties and methods as rule fields, in rule methods, or rule actions. In this video, I'm going to concentrate on the properties first name, last name, and the method called full name. As you can see, the full name method simply concatenates the first and last names and returns the formatted full name. We're going to use this method in our rules as an in rule method. The method attribute sets its user friendly display name and description to be used in the rule editor instead of the declared name of this method which is the default name in the UI. The project also decorates both the first name and the last name properties with the field attribute. It sets the UI display names and descriptions for both properties as well as some other important values. Links to the documentation for method and field attributes can be found in the description of this video. Now that we have our source object, we need to add WebRule to the web form. As with any referenced ASP server control, we need to register WebRule on this page and declare it in our markup. We need to tell WebRule which source object it should use, which can be done in several different ways. This page declares the source right within the HTML by setting the name of the assembly that declares the source object, in our case the assembly of this web application itself, and the full name of the type of our source object. Now let's run the application to see if the integration worked. As you can see, the WebRule server control has been successfully added to our ASP.NET web page. Thanks for watching this short demo, and thank you for your interest in WebRule Business Rules Engine. For details, please visit our website at rule.codeeffects.com. All links and additional info can be found in the description of this video.